So I'm Bernice and today we're going to do a book haul. So yesterday I actually went to BGC and I went to the biggest branch of Fully Book there is because I wanted to buy um, books for myself because I just had my birthday last May 7 and I want to treat myself with a few books. So um, because I have the Fully Book discount card, I actually get 20% off. If you guys also have one, you can avail of it for the entire week of your birthday. So that's three days before and th until three days after your birthday. So yes, um, I did get a bunch of books and I wanted to show you guys what I got. So let's start the video. Okay, so the first book I got is Scythe by Neil Schusterman. So basically this book is about a world where the, no one really dies like no one dies from natural causes no one dies from wars so basically it's kind of like a perfect world and the only way that someone can die is by the site so basically they just regulate um, the population um, this book is actually very interesting and I got this because I've been wanting to read like a trilogy that really had an interesting premise and an interesting world to it from what I know this mostly talks about um, death and all the questions surrounding that so I'm really excited to read this book and if you guys are interested in how I feel about it um, you guys can just check out my Goodreads account so I'll link that down below so the next book that I got is um, one that has a really pretty cover and I want to show you guys so this one is Yoke by um, Mary H.K. Choi for a moment I want you guys to just look at how beautiful the book is so look at that and then they're connected, like their hands are connected in the middle. So this book is about Korean American sisters who are now estranged despite living in um, the same city, New York. So it's about the story of Jane and June, basically about the journey of them coming together um, after finding out that June gets cancer. The reason why I got this book, aside from the beautiful cover and the good reads um, reviews about it, is because I'm super interested about um, books that are driven mostly by the relationships of the characters. As much as I do love plot-driven books, character-driven books are actually just the kind of books that really tug at my heart. And I'm super excited to read about um, the journey of the two sisters and how they're going to kind of figure out how to go about living with each other, especially have, after being estranged for a very long time. So yes. Okay, so the next book that I got is The Night Circus. I'm pretty sure almost everyone has heard about this book. This one is written by Erin Morgenstern. So the reason why I got this book is because this has been recommended to me by two of my bestest friends, so Mai and Reg. My friends told me that like the writing of this book really just pulls you in and just brings you into the universe of this book. And that's what I really appreciate about a lot of books is when they're able to create a universe that's very believable enough and that's just super enchanting. So I'm very excited to read through this. So yeah, um, this is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. So the next book I got is Blood and Honey. This is the second book of the... Um, I'm not sure what you call this trilogy. Hold on. So this is actually the first book. This is Serpent and Dove. And actually, I'll just show you guys this one as well because I did just buy this recently. So this is the first book. This is Serpent and Dove by Shelby Maharin. And this is the second book, which is Blood and Honey. And honestly, just look at how beautiful the covers are. They just... Oh. So beautiful. This book is about two characters who aren't supposed to be together. So basically, it's a story about a witch and a witch hunter, and they find themselves bound together through marriage, and it's about them coming to understand each other's side, it's kind of reevaluating each other's existence and values. So the first book I really enjoyed, which is why I got the second book, although I don't think that the first book delved deep into like the witch magical aspect, but I think that that's what they're going to be doing in the second book. So yes. The next book that I got is The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. This follows the story of Tomara Batista, 
who is a Afro-Latina poet who grew up in a very religious household. Somara is very insecure about her body being overdeveloped and voluptuous and from her words distracting and she uses poetry to kind of like pour her dreams and frustrations into. So she was invited to the school slam poetry club and she's actually very afraid about it because her mom is very religious. This book is about her finding her voice and that is told through poetry. So um, I know it's kind of stupid but I didn't know the book was actually written through poem form. I'll show you guys. So basically they are just a bunch of poems and this just is the entire book. I don't really know like how to feel about it because poetry really isn't my strongest suit as a creative writing like major. I graduated from creative writing and poetry is it's not really my strongest suit. I'm not really the best at like um writing it or really understanding. I'm really interested in how accessible this book is going to be. Despite my apprehension, so I'm really excited to read about this and kind of like overcome my fear of poetry. So yeah. So the next book I got is the first book from the Illuminate Files series. I'm not sure. If, I think it's a trilogy. Um, this is Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. It's a young adult science fiction book. So it basically follows the story of Kitty and Estra who just broke up and then shortly after there was kind of like a huge invasion I think. Basically this book is told through like, through like a series of like documents. So like classified documents and like censored files. This book has been raved on for years and I've been wanting to get my hands on this book but every single time the copy that I always find has like dents at the edges and if I'm gonna buy like a new copy I kind of want it to be like clean. I'm actually very excited and I'm thinking of doing like a reading vlog for like a bunch of these books so if you guys are gonna be interested in that just please let me know. Okay I'll do it. Okay so the next book I got is Dark Horses by Susan Mihalik. So this book actually just came out this February 2021 and I saw this on Goodreads and I also saw this in like the front of Fully Book. I was really interested in like the cover um, and then I read the back and that's what made me kind of want to buy it. The short synopsis here at the top says that it's a darkly gripping debut novel about a teenage girl's fierce struggle to reclaim her life from her abusive father. And just from that, I really wanted to get my hands on this book. So I'm really interested in this book and I've been drawn to it from the start. And I really like books that cover the search for like oneself and kind of like relearning things. And I think this is what mostly about. So 15 year old prodigy Rowan has only ever known the world through what her father has taught her. And she meets a boy her own age and then she slowly discovers the world in an absolutely new light. And that's honestly just so exciting to me. So this is a psychological fiction and it's a survivor story which honestly I just love. I really want to learn more about this character and how she tries to find herself um, outside of the grips of her dad. So yeah. Okay, so the next book I got is Every Last Word. This is written by Tamara Ireland Stone. So this book is about Sam McAllister who has OCD. She's a very popular girl except that all of her friends in high school are fake. She basically lives a life where no one truly knows her till she meets this girl named Caroline. This is when Sam and Caroline um, meet like a new version of herself. I'm not really sure if it's a sad book because I've heard that some people read this for like sad book month on TikTok. Well, not sure about it being mentally draining or like emotionally draining, but I'm really excited to know more about the story and to know more about our protagonist. So yes, this is every last word. Okay, so the next book or set of books that I got are um, the Shades of Magic series by V.E. Schwab. So this is actually, so V.E. Schwab is basically Victoria Schwab, except that she uses V.E. when her books are like adult, and then Victoria when she writes young adult books. So I wanna show you guys what the books look like because oh, she really has nice covers. Like her books, all of her books have really nice covers. So this is the first book, so this is a darker shade of magic and this is um, a gathering of shadows and this one is a conjuring of light so basically this trilogy is about a fantasy world where there are four parallel universes 
of London. Grey London, there's White London, there's Black London, and there's Red London. So Grey London is kind of like the London that we know now, so it doesn't ha really have magic. It's kind of like the real world. Um, and then Red London contains magic, and that's where our protagonist, Hell, he lives with like King, and he acts as kind of like an ambassador, where he gives kind of like information to the King. But at the same time, he kind of has his own like side thingy where he smuggles stuff and he accidentally smuggles something that he shouldn't have. That's kind of like where the story revolves around. That's just basically what I know, but it's just so much more than that from what I heard. And the box also came with like a map of the London. So I'm just gonna show you guys. So this is it. A map of London's. I think this is the grey London. This is black, red, and then this is like Maybe this is green and this is white. I don't know, I'm not sure. But anyway, that's it. So I've heard a lot of stuff about V.E. Schwab and how amazing of a writer that she is. I'm really excited to read her books. And she does have the best covers. As in, these three books, like, they're so beautiful in the house, But, like, there's so many other editions. And they're just so good, especially the hardcover ones. So I just had to get it. So the last book that I'm going to show you guys in this book haul is actually a gift to me. So I have so many more books that I have that I haven't read yet. But those I bought before or yesterday. So it doesn't really count as like the fully booked like birthday haul. So this is the next one. This one is a gift for my sister's boyfriend, BJ. And he asked me what book I wanted to get. And this is one of my top three choices. Okay, so this last book I'm going to show you guys is The Invisible Life of Addie Laru by V.E. Schwab as well. This book follows the story of Addie who has a bargain to live forever. Um, and in exchange for that, she will never be remembered by the people she meets. Which is so sad. Um, this book basically tackles the lengths that she will go through just to leave her mark on the world. And everything changes after 300 years when she finally meets a guy um, in a bookstore who remembers her. This is so interesting, honestly. This is also a recent release. Actually just released last year, um, October 2020. And this is something that I'm super excited to read about as well. So basically, that's it. This is the end of the video. Those are all the books that I got for my birthday. If you guys are interested in like a reading vlog, I'll read a book or like a couple of books, show you guys my reaction, and maybe show you guys a little bit of my life. If you guys are interested in that, please let me know because I kind of want to do one. So if you guys also want to see that, maybe I'll do one. Or most likely, I will do one. If you also want to know like how I feel about these books, you guys can check out my Goodreads because most of the time, I do have reviews for all the books that I've read. If you also want to see my 2021 book challenge updates, it's also on there. You guys should go ahead and add me so I can also see like what's on your like to read and your reviews and stuff so yeah thank you guys so much for watching my video i hope you guys liked it and i'll see you guys next time bye, -bye.